Hello guys, in this session, let us discuss and understand why Java is considered as architecture neutral language or a platform independent language by considering very simple scenarios. So before that, let us first of all understand what do you mean by platform, okay? So let me consider, I have system 1 which is having 32-bit architecture and Windows operating system. System 2, 64-bit architecture, Linux operating system. System 3, which is 64-bit architecture, but Mac operating system. So therefore, all these three computers is having different hardware and software configuration and this builds up the architecture of a computer or a platform of a computer. That's it, very simple. So all these three systems are having different architecture, okay? So now let me assume I have a programmer who is a smith and Smith decides to develop a software called as Calculator using a traditional language like C or C++. So to do this, now Smith will consider the System 1 configuration, which is nothing but 32-bit architecture, Windows operating system. So using this computer, Smith will start typing the code and the program is ready. The calculator software is ready. So the source file calculator.c is ready. Now do you think this file is easily understandable and executable in the machine? Not at all because the instructions written are in high level programming language which only a programmer like me and you can understand. So what should I do now? We need to convert this into a machine understandable language with the help of a compiler. Which compiler do you use? Will you use any compiler? No, not at all. I have to use a C compiler because this software is developed using C. I will use a C compiler which is compatible with 32-bit architecture Windows operating system. Now this source file, I will give as input to the C compiler. C compiler will do the conversion. Once it is converted, you get an executable file where the instructions are written in machine understandable language. Which machine understandable language? Do you think this executable file can be executed in all these different computers? Not at all. The C compiler will directly convert a high level programming language into a specific machine understandable language which is 32-bit architecture and Windows operating system. Therefore, this executable file can be executed only in system 1. I cannot use this executable file in system 2 or system 3. Therefore, this design is considered as platform dependent. Hence, C is a platform dependent language. I hope you understood what you mean by platform dependent. Now, assume guys, the programmer Smith again tries to develop the same software calculator, but this time using a Java programming language. What would be the difference? Let us understand this. Is that clear? Come on, let's do it. Now Smith will again take the same first system, 32-bit machine, Windows operating system. And he will try to develop the calculator software using Java as his programming language. So once the software is developed, he generates a source file which is called as calculator.java. It's a Java source file. Do you think this source file is easily understandable by a machine? No. It's a high level language again. So what do you need now? You need to convert. Therefore, to convert, I need a compiler. Which compiler will you use this time? Obviously, guys, I will make use of a Java compiler. So I will download and install a Java compiler for 32-bit machine Windows operating system. So this source file, I will give to the Java compiler. Java compiler will translate this and will generate a new file. And this file is known as a class file, 
which will have an extension dot class guys i'm going to tell you very interesting news here the instructions written in the class file is known as an intermediate language why because it is neither understandable by the programmer it is not understandable by the machine it is not understandable by both of them then who the hell on earth can understand this very simple the committee or a group of people who developed java they also developed a beautiful environment called as java runtime environment in short jre this jre consists a machine known as java virtual machine the machine which you cannot see virtual machine so this jvm can understand the instructions that is nothing but the byte code this intermediate language instructions in java is known as a byte code what is byte code let us discuss later so now what i can really do is on all these systems i just have to download and install jre and we have jre available for 32 bit system windows operating system i also have jre available for 64 bit linux operating system download and install and we also have jre available for mac operating system so we just have to download and install in all these systems now this class file which is compiled by this compiler can be easily executed in system 1 yes system 2 obviously system 3 also therefore from this what did you understand a software developed on one platform can be easily executed on multiple platforms hence this design is known as platform independence or we can also say this design makes java a uh, architecture neutral but you are very important that you need to consider is let me assume i have another system 4 which is also a 32 bit machine windows operating system but guys there is no jvm installed now can i take this class file and execute it in the system 4 not at all why because i don't have jvm installed so i can easily conclude a new statement over here what is that java is obviously a platform independent language but it is a jvm dependent language you cannot execute it in a machine which doesn't have jvm is that clear i hope you guys have understood so the final conclusion of this entire session is the java compiler does not directly convert a high level language that is your java into machine understandable language instead it converts your java instructions into an intermediate language called as byte code which is very important for you to remember and that file is known as a class file which has an extension dot class and once this class file is ready i can execute this class file in any machine it could also be a mobile phone which has a jvm hence this entire design makes java a platform independent or architecture neutral language but jvm dependent language That's all guys. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye bye. Visit skillery.com to know in detail about Java and Java related courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, subscribe to Skillery's YouTube channel. Click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.